Your First Amendment right may be your right for today, but if you're not exercising it, you will lose it tomorrow. Um, February of 2018, I did what I do every year. I made handmade valentines and I took them to my school and they said, Jesus loves you, you are loved, you are cared for. Within 15 minutes of handing them out on campus, I had campus security called on me. I was very shocked um, and very hurt because I had just lost my mom. It really took me back. Uh, so when I filed, I didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't going to go quietly this time. So I got the phone call about 24 hours before the executive order was signed that I was going to give a speech at the White House. <laughs> Let's just say the next two hours I was shaking pretty good. <laughs> and I prayed that God would calm my, my nerves by the time I had to speak. When he came on stage, he put his hand on my shoulder and shook my hand and it was as if he was saying, I've been in your shoes. I've lost people too. I've got your back. 